evening and welcome back to another video from Darnie's Kitchen. Hello everybody. God bless you. I hope you all had a great week and had a great week period. So tonight's dinner is going to be what's for dinner. It's going to be chicken enchiladas with refried beans and Spanish rice. That's for to dinner tonight. Today is February 21st, 2023. It's a Tuesday evening. It's late. It's about 8.51 here p.m. here in Donnie's Kitchen. So, just wanted to tell you about that. And thank you for tuning in in tonight's video. It's all about chicken enchiladas and refried beans with Spanish rice. So definitely make sure that you go to your local grocery store and pick up a whole chicken a whole with sweet chicken i'm going to be using the whole entire thing ours was like 9.99 at our store so that's not bad at all but if you can find it for like eight dollars six dollars you know even seven dollars definitely pick it up and definitely pick up these also as well i'm gonna show you one second if i can find it oh here they are these are the la ben wait let me say it right la benterita um white corn tortilla shells these was about close to three dollars so it's two dollars and 89 cents at my grocery store and you get 30 count so 30 you get 30 count of the tortilla shells so this was very good these are the corn tortilla shells these are white you can also they also have yellow too but you get white definitely for sure by this name brand let me try to untie it so you can really see the name brand There you go. You can see it more better. These are the white corn tortilla shells by that name brand there. La Ben, La Ben Dorita. I'm going to leave it on the description box below also as well. And make sure you turn on that notification bell and make sure you subscribe to Diane's Kitchen. Thank you for tonight. So let's get started in tonight's video. This so is what it is. And um, you already see how I chop up my onions. So... They are already chopped. I didn't want to show that because, you know, to your own, your own discretion, your kitchen, your way, you can definitely um, dice up your onions your way. Totally up to you. And this is in a 8 by 11 anchor dish pan. I'm going to put the enchiladas in once they're done with that. And I'm going to shred up the chicken in a bowl. So you want to get a good size bowl. A large bowl enough to shred up the chicken you want to use the dark the dark the dark pieces and white and the skin also as well and make sure you get out the bones make sure you don't use the bones but make sure you get every piece of chicken that you can from your whole chicken so ours was like 9.99 and also it's two cans I'm going to show you with these are by our family but you can get any brand that you want of i'm sorry my fingers in the way of the refried beans this is a vegetarian refri re refried beans excuse me this is in a 16 ounce so this is one pound and this is also in the same thing so we're going to use that in tonight's dinner with the refried beans and also this is the la victoria red enchilada sauce this is in mild so we're going to have this on top of the enchilada sauce and i mean the enchiladas definitely make sure to as well you wash i'm not wash you rinse off your cans because they come from the distributors of the stores and also uh and the employees touch all cans as well so you want to just make sure you rinse each and every one of your cans off as well okay and this is from our family as well, but you can get any brand of olives that you want, but make sure they're the, the sliced peated olives, the black ones. And this is also in a 3.8 ounce also as well. I'm going to drain the juice. So this is what you want to put your olives in, in a small bowl. So that way you can put them on top after everything is done and definitely get a green onion. If they're on sale, try to catch them on sale. I caught two of them on sale at my job for 99 cents each. So $1.98. So. And this is the Rotel Chipotle 
diced tomatoes with with green chilies and chipotle peppers in it this is in a 10 ounce can also as well right here and this was about i want to say close to three dollars also as well so about 269 or 279 so that brings a total of give me one second I'm adding it up on my cell phone. So, okay, so we're going to start off with the chicken. So, the chicken was $9.99, and then the two cans were $2 each, and then this was $3.79 for that big can of the red enchilada sauce, and the olives were $1.69. And the tortilla shells, the tortilla shells, I just remember the corn tortilla shells, they were $3.79, not $2.79, I'm sorry. But if you can find it for $2.79, then go ahead and get them. Try shop like at, you know, any grocery store that you locally go to every single other week or every once a week, or every two weeks or bi-weekly or every week. So anything else I am missing? I got the olives, the hotel. Oh, I didn't get the Rotel sauce. They, the, the Rotel sauce was, I want to say, like $2.59. And total is at $23.85. So close to about $25. Maybe $30. So it depends on if the Rotel could be either $2.69. Between $2.69 and $2.89. I just rounded up at $2.79. So yeah. But $23.85 for everything that I told you about. So that it's not bad. So let's get started into basically breaking down this chicken. So I'm going to put my chicken right here. And I'm going to put it right here in the bowl right here next to me. So I'm going to turn this actually whoa, turn this around. So now it's about 8.58 p.m. here now in Donnie's kitchen. So well, I kind of started kind of late because I got home immediately. Got myself in the shower and relaxed for just a few minutes, but had to clean up some other things into the beauty room. So that's what I did. And then I realized, I said, oh my gosh, it's almost 9 o'clock. So let me hurry up and start getting dinner ready. So just now, I just got done slicing the onions. And the onion I used was a yellow onion, but I usually get the whole bag. So the whole bag also of onions were $1.89. So you want to say about $27 for everything also as well so about of course about $30 so about $28 all together okay the chicken the olives the one can of olives the two cans of um refried beans if you can find them on sale and then the enchilada sauce and the rotel with green chilies and green bell pepper i mean green peppers i was also um for that price and the chicken and the shells yes so about close to 30 dollars so you want to just make sure you get you a rotisserie chicken from your local deli make sure you get that and make sure you definitely take off the string part also as well make sure you get all it all off take your time Let's see here i'm going to come back to this so we can so i can take this off so i'll be right back okay all right, I am back with the chicken. It's being shredded already. I use the, the skin, but that's just me for my household. But you can do whatever you want to do in your household for you and your family in your kitchen. But before you do, make sure your hands are completely washed and clean. Clean. Sorry, not clean. Clean as well. And yes, and make sure everything is already out for, you know, your ingredients and stuff like that. Definitely make sure your cans are definitely rinsed off because, you know, like I said, from the distributors and from the employees that work at the local grocery store, they touch the cans too as well. So make sure your cans are definitely impeccable clean, very clean. So I just rinse mine off, wipe them off real quick, and I do the same thing for all of them. So. And then I make sure I definitely have, of course, you know, my hot water with my dish soap. I make sure I have that because I like to clean as I go in my kitchen. 
I just like doing that because it's easier for me. And then that way I don't have a whole lot that I have to do. You know, I don't have too many dishes you know, to wash. That is there. And one more can. I know it is somewhere around here. Yes. So, yep. So just make sure your, your hands, first of all, make sure your hands are clean. Second of all, make sure you have hot water with a dish soap and make sure your, your hands are definitely clean. So I'm going to leave these just right in the sink just for a minute so until I'm done raising them. them. So, and also you want to make sure too as well that your electric can opener, or if you have an electric can opener or a can opener, make sure that is definitely um, plugged in. I'll put that just right there for a, mo a moment. See, it was so big in here. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, now just put your chicken like right there. This is definitely in the trash. I like to clean as I go in my kitchen as I cook, clean, or multitask when I'm in the kitchen. And definitely preheat preheat your oven to 375 or however your oven is in your kitchen. Do it that way. Give me one second. So how was your day? How was your week? How have you all been? Hope you all had a great day and a good week so far. So let's continue into cooking. So also with the chicken also as well, it's kind of bland. So you want to season it back up with just some um, badia um, onion powder. Just a, a couple of sprinkles, not too much. I'd say about two tablespoons or less if you don't like onion powder, you know. And then next is going to be the garlic powder. This is from Ali's. Uh, it's just right next door to where uh, we work at. So just a couple of pinches of that. And then you want to come back over here, get it out your way. So you have your, so you can have your station more space. Just shred it. I'm not shred it, but make, make sure you mix it up with where a uh, really real really well excuse me i'm having a hard time so i apologize if you got off work my brain is just like i don't know on mode i guess i don't know so make sure your kitchen is def uh, your kitchen your chicken <laughs> make sure your chicken is definitely seasoned yes just because like with the skin it's already seasoned but you want to make sure your kitchen your chicken is definitely seasoned with onion powder garlic powder but measure it eyeball it in your way because it's your kitchen in your way okay so just take your whole shredded chicken shred it really good it's up to you if you want to use the skin but in my household for just two people now this will make a meal for two people but if you have more than two people in your family like um let's say four to six people you need to have two chickens because this will make a double amount and also make sure you have two of your pans for you. And make sure your pan is greased also as well with canola oil spray. Okay. And now we are going to now cook the onions. But we're just going to use a couple of tablespoons of, about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Or you can use olive oil, your choice. Make sure your skillet is on medium heat about right there but let it get heated up just a little bit and then once that is done once the once your pan is definitely heated up make sure that you just put a, a one tablespoon of vegetable oil in here or olive oil which is easiest for you i just like to use vegetable oil but i do have olive oil but i get i'm just so right there that's about a good tablespoon 
So I just definitely just use um, a vegetable oil in my kitchen, my cooking. But sometimes I do trade on of using olive um, olive oil. So yes, that's what I definitely love to do. So once your skillet is being heated up, you can make sure you need anything else. You're gonna need a plate too for your corn tortilla shell for your corn tortillas. Make sure you have a plate because you're going to cook your shells on your, on your plate, but you're gonna let all that grease get onto the paper towel. So yes. But if you think you need more than one tablespoon of vegetable oil or olive oil, then then be more merrier to do it for your household, for you. And then just get a spatula to flip over the shell. So we'll get to that part in just a few. So since we are already um, plugged in my electric can opener, make sure you get that ready also as well. I'm going to move. Okay, so since the olive oil, I mean the olive oil, since the olives already have a can, we can just flip open with your finger, but make sure you can get something to flip it with. I just use a knife because I don't have um, nails. It's easier for me to just use a knife and make sure that it's drained also as well. So. So since that, since the olives is already um, drained with the juice, just set it aside somewhere where you can get to it close when you do need it. Um, after everything is done, your enchiladas, you can put them, you can put the olives, olives and the green onions onto the top of your enchiladas once they're out of the oven. So we'll get to that in one second, but okay. So now we are going to open up these cans, steal some more. I'm going to put this actually over here. So sometimes my electric fan does that. Does that. to go to my kitchen aid can opener that I got from a not I think Walmart I got this some years ago so I'm just gonna just use this and this is for the refried beans there's a little bit of juice I'm going to keep in here just a little bit but not too much but I'm going to definitely use some chicken um, chicken broth for my refried beans, but that's just me. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can just use a little bit of the juice from the refried beans, you know, just a little bit. I say about like not even a half, under a half a cup. But you eyeball it, measure it out with your eyes, okay, please. And then this is the can of the tomatoes. This is going to go into the um, Spanish rice. So I'm just opening that up now so that way I can have that already opened up a little bit later. I like to clean as I clean as I go. So I'm gonna set this over here. Now I'm going to put my onions. I'll let them cook for just a little bit.
I love I love that sizzle sound and I also love when onions are being cooked. I, I love onions. Onions and green bell peppers are my favorite um veggies to cook with. There's just something about them. I just I just love them. I, I really do like them. And this will take about between 5 to like 10, about between 5 and 15 minutes to cook. Not that long because you want to make sure that the onions is, um, is basically soft and sauteed. You know, they don't need to be like really like soft, soft, soft. You, look, you want like a little crunch into your meat. Oh, and also I didn't tell you as well. Shoot. Also as well. Let me put this stuff in there. you want to add just a little bit of chicken broth to whatever is what fan or favorite of chicken broth that you use it could be swansons it could be whatever whatever brand. just a little tiny spoon tiny bit of spoon tiny bit not too much and that's all you need just to you know get more of that chicken flavor into your into your this is just how my family makes it so And then, of course, I always have the the Chi Chi's Mayo Thick and Chunky Salsa to have it on, on top of my enchiladas with my sour cream. Then I also have these two on the border chips, just a little bit, but like if I'm making tacos or something like that, I'm going to be making another meal in another video. I just want to say thank you. Welcome back to another video in Donnie's Kitchen making chicken enchiladas so let's get back into it making these enchiladas Whoops. it smells phenomenal in here it smells really really good and like i told you i just put very little bit of chicken broth in here not much because i don't want i don't want the chicken and the onions to dry out so that's why you put like a little bit in there but you want to eyeball it too just to hope don't put a whole lot to it just very look this is just a very little bit just to get that boy that chicken flavor in there because with chicken broth you know that has chicken flavor it has all kinds of flavors in there so want to just make sure that your chicken is definitely for just I mean your chicken is already cooked but you want to just get it like warm hot okay so that is all the steps to this for right now but like I said just to make sure that you have just a little bit of chicken broth into your skillet cook it on medium heat make sure you shred your chicken and it's up to you if you want to use the skin that's totally up to you it's your way it's your chicken enchiladas in, in your kitchen but that's just what my family and i always done it ever since i was little because they had made this before um chicken enchiladas ever since i was three three years old so i'm going to wash out this bowl right here so that way i can put the chicken back in a bowl for right now and set it aside so let me do that so i'll be right back but like i said make this milk to your aggression to your way to your kitchen but make sure you have two cans of refried beans you know vegetarian or they're going to be regular refried beans from taco bell brand i believe 
Taco Bell has that brand. Or I want to say Del Monte, but I could be wrong. But I'm, let me get more information on it and I will tell you in another video what brand to get. But you know, it's your way, it's your family. Do it for yourself and for your family. But this is just what for me and Hamilton and I have for just two of us. So if you're making this meal for two people, this will be a good enough meal and then it'll be over. And it'd be good too for leftovers to take to work or whichever. It's, you know, for you. Because that's what Hamilton and I are going to do. Once we, once we are done eating dinner, we're going to take this, some of it to work to, um, tomorrow. So, yeah. So, just make sure you have two cans of refried, refried beans. A huge can of enchilada, enchilada sauce, but it has to be red. It's the 28 ounce. And also, make sure that you have your um, chichi, you know, mayo, thick and chunky sauce, your sauce if you want. A can, a small can of olives, of olives, black olives, or you can get a bigger can if you have more than two people in your family, like four to six to eight people. And double up the recipe, make sure you have an eight by 11 dish pan and enough, tur enough uh, white, corn tortillas at least 30 pack for two to eight people in your family for yourselves for your family and put just a little bit of sprinkle of onion powder garlic powder into your chick into your chicken cut up one yellow onion into small pieces but it's totally up to you you don't have to cut them in small pieces you can cut them in strips however you want to do for your chicken enchiladas and cook your tortilla cook your white corn tortilla shells about a minute on each side then them over within that minute to the other side and then put it onto a paper towel plate okay so i'll be back give me just a minute okay okay welcome back to the next step to making these chicken enchiladas so you definitely want to make sure that your um your chicken it's definitely cooled down, but mine is getting cooled down, so I'm just going to just use some gloves and just basically assemble them. But I'm letting my pan, I just cleaned out my pan right here. I put just a few tablespoons of vegetable oil into my pan, just enough to soak up the corn tortillas that I'm going to cook a minute on each side and then put them right here for just less than like about a, less than a minute to between a minute so that's how you want to do them you want to do them for just about a good minute for each side and then put them onto plate with paper towel right away okay so this is how you're going to make it so I just let your pan heat up just a little bit which is already is i'm going to show you the first assemble of how to do these corn um these tortilla shells so let it cook Cause you don't, I mean, you're just cooking them. You're not like, you know, um, cooking them for like more than a minute. You're just cooking them for just a good minute. Just a good, uh, get, to get enough for good, you know, side done so they won't break on you. Cause sometimes these, um, these tortilla shells will break. Okay. So they will break. So just take your time and then cook your meal too. I mean, take your time with your meal. There's no rush to your meal. Oh, man. All right. So that's how you make your first shit um, your tortilla, and keep going until you get to how amount you want to cook for. I would do maybe about ten to twelve. You know that should be just enough for Hamilton and I. But I'm gonna make more later on tonight or tomorrow too. So I'm just making some for just for tonight for us. And you also want to pre. Preheat your oven to 375. It just depends on how your oven is in your kitchen, your way. But put it at 375 or, you know, you can go 400. And just let that heat up. Let your oven heat up. And while you're still cooking the shells, keep on going. Okay. you one more time but I'm, I'm gonna continue to show show you how to make I'm just 
I'm just letting you know. You, you just cook the shells, basically, that's all, for a good minute. I'm sorry I keep going back and forth with my words. I apologize, excuse me. But what I'm trying to say is just make sure you cook your shells for a minute on each side. Flip them, you know, over, flip them over real quick, just like that. Because you're just getting enough grease onto the, um, onto the tortilla shells. That is what you're doing, making sure you get enough grease onto the shells. Okay, you're putting like right there. And you keep on going. And then also too, check your pan too and see if you need any more vegetable oil. Definitely do that. Okay. And take your time with your, like with this meal. Cook with love, you know, because that's what I love to do. I love to cook for Hamilton and I, you know, my friends, his friends, you know, with love because I love to cook. So, you know, and my co-workers and my managers at work love what I cook. So I bring them food too. So they're like, oh my gosh, Don, cook it again, cook it again. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I love my managers and my co-workers that I, that I work with work with every single day <laughs> so we're just a big old family in there so we may fuss and argue with each other but we're just a big old family in there so we don't let nobody mess with one of us and we don't let you know so that's just how we are you know it's a family so i cooked about one two about four higher four shells already and these shells are pretty hot so you want to make sure that you just definitely make sure you definitely take your time with this meal especially with the tortilla shells you definitely want to take your time so you should but i've been doing it for so long i'm just doing it like this for right now i've been doing it for so long i just forgot how to do them but it, it comes back to you you know once you get in your kitchen and you make your family favorite you know recipe or meal so i'm i seen some new recipes that i want to do also as well on my channel donnie's kitchen so look forward to them but continue to subscribe to donnie's kitchen and if you already did or if you just wanted to stop by and say hello well hello and thank you nice to meet you thank you so much Please tell your family and friends all about Dinah's Kitchen and definitely follow this recipe here on Kitchen, I mean, Chicken, Chicken Enchiladas. I keep wanting to say Chicken, I mean, uh, Kitchen. It's just like a habit. I don't know why I keep saying Kitchen. Kitchen is Chicken, not, 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 um, not Kitchen, it's Chicken. Okay. So you want to just keep on eyeballing your usage of your vegetable oil or your olive oil but definitely i highly recommend to use a vegetable oil because that's just what i like to use and it's very good too so i like it so me and my mom we used to actually let me tell you a story me and my mom we used to actually cook these my mom used to make just the chicken you know with the onions with the with the tortilla shells or she'll use the other, the other shells, you know, like the floured ones, and just cheese. Oh yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you uh, buy cheese. So let me show you the cheese too, while that's cooking. So this was on sale. This is the dairy fresh. These are the two for six dollars. This is the Mexican shredded shredded cheese cheese um, blend with a with monterey jack cheddar asadero and queso queso de calissa cheese hope i'm saying i'm probably saying it wrong I'm probably bashing their party name oh my god so yeah but yeah definitely make sure you get two packs i mean two bags of cheese and i will tell you how to use those well, I get, I get, I get, I get. Okay, just a few more. Just continue to eyeball your usage of your vegetable oil. Okay? You don't want to put too much in the pan. So you always want to count just to make sure how many you have so far. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. 
10, 11, I say 12. I'll stop right there. So four more shells to make. And I'm going to start wrapping these up. But if I do need more shells, I'll definitely cook more shells. So, but this is like a pretty good big pan to use for, um, for you know, enchiladas. You know, you can use it for order. I use this pan for my baked ziti. So, yeah. And this pan, you can definitely try to get like at your local Walmart, you know, Myers. Coals, you know, because I know coals have baking baking utensils or baking tools. I think I've been a long time since I've been in coals, so yes. But I'll be back and give me just a minute. All right, I am back for assembling the enchiladas. So you want to basically another plate. Or I have a cutting board, but I don't have that much space because I'm recording on my laptop. So, I do have a plate. But you want to just make sure that you have another plate so you can assemble, assemble your tortillas. Okay, so, you have your tortilla shell, right? Your, um, your two bags of Mexican cheese blend. Let me get some scissors. Hold on, I gotta cut these. Make sure that you open up your two bags of cheese and set them aside so however space limited for space or limited space you have because I have limited space in our kitchen so but I do make it work I do what I do so you want to just take some of your chicken oh it's cooled down thank God okay but don't stop hey, them um, yep, so you don't want to stuff them too much. Okay, just put the chicken and cheese. And then you want to... So I can see it. But you want to just roll it. Tuck and roll, okay? Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. And it's okay if some falls out. So just like that. I'm going to keep on going. Tuck and roll. That's all you got to do. Just put just a little bit of the chicken and the cheese. Because you're going to put like, um, you know, like, you got to put some um, olives. You can put olives in here too. Or you can just do the, um, the cheese and chicken. That's just how my mom taught me. Just do the chicken and cheese. And just make sure you have enough of the chicken of course and two bags of cheese but don't put too much of filling in here because you're um, that way because uh, it's going to be hard for you to roll them so it's just like a burrito you want to tuck tuck and roll and roll just like that so you want to keep going until you are done but if you have more chicken you know left over it's okay because you can make this as a repeat for the next day you know because your family will will love these chicken enchiladas but this is just what my mom and my aunts would do for us just the chicken and cheese inside of it but you can put black olives if you want you can put green bell you can put green onions inside of here you can do however you your family wants and it's okay if one or two tear it's okay because it's going to be cooked anyway so like i said that's why i said cook your shells cook your tortilla shells for like a good minute a minute on each side but just make sure you get enough you know chicken in the in the tortilla shells just and then push it just a little bit on the edge of the tortilla shell 
So I'm gonna try to see if I can get my last hot to calm down so you can see. There you go. Okay, can you see? Okay. That's better instead of me trying to explain it. So I mean talk about it. So you just take the cheese, tuck, and roll. And I made just enough for tonight, so um, we're going to have more left over tomorrow because um, this is a good meal. This is just a good family size. This is a good family size meal, and this does uh, will do leftovers too. So if you like leftovers, this is good right here. But this is what my mom and I used to just do. We used to just eat just the uh, tortillas, chicken and cheese. And that's it and go watch a movie together or something you know just have some mom and daughter time that's what me and my mom used to always do because she because we had grew up um well well she grew up uh, in california so she grew up on cooking you know um mexican food and you know and chinese food because she always had friends that were different nationalities and i thought that was so cool and then she had my mom and dad had me and then when came get uh, when i got old you know growing up not older when i was growing up that's just what my family you know and i i was always around you know different people with different nationalities and i thought it was so cool you know and fascinating and intriguing to get to know other people you know i had childhood friends um that were different nationalities so it was actually a good I'm growing up in California so you know because I got to see all the some of the movie stars not all of them but some of the movie stars you know when I was little and so yeah but it's okay too as well if you have like some of your tortilla shells like a little bit of crunchiness on the edges of them it's okay because it's going to get cooked right into the oven so that's what it's, it's just going to get cooked right into the oven I'm going to move my cheese over here so that way you can see okay so i think i made a little bit too much of a sh of shells but i'm going to get it together and you can also put this into another dish as well too and you can also um eat these on the side <laughs> oh wait the cheese i mean the, yeah the meat and the cheese yeah you can always um cook the rest of them up too in 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 another pan so i think i might do that i might cook the other ones up so we have just enough for tonight and tomorrow and if you need more room we can make more room so i think i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten i have ten maybe one more because like that whole rotisserie chicken will make enough for just two people but you know you can definitely have this fit for two to eight people so just try to stretch out the meat as meat and cheese as possible so yeah so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I have 11 so I do one more I think that I could do one more I'm just trying to have enough for tonight and the prep time whew, takes a minute and then yeah the prep time takes a good 20 minutes Shredding the chicken does take time too as well, plus add that in there. So it takes about at least 35 minutes. But if you have help, you know, in your kitchen, you can definitely get your kids involved in this, you know. That would be cool to do, you know. So if you have some cheese and stuff left over, go ahead and put it on to the meat because it's going to get cooked up in the oven anyway. So just take your time. Yeah, so like I said, I haven't cooked this meal, gosh, whew, forever. It's been a minute. 
but if you like any other vegetables to your chicken when you cook it in the cook it in your skillet you can add green bell peppers you can do red bell peppers you can do whatever that you want so just make sure you don't squeeze the other one so i think that's enough for right now so that's good enough and you want to just always clean as you go in your kitchen so yeah that is how you prepare your enchiladas that look just like this so i'm going to just get this cheese out of the way So, now I'm just going to just spread this enchilada sauce right over them. And that's why they say it's good to always have like another can of enchilada sauce, just in case. So you have the enchilada sauce in here. Make sure you have enough in there. Let's see just a little bit that's not covered. Okay. Mm. Try to clean it up. Woo! God, it is hot. Holy Jesus. All right. So then you want to just sprinkle on just your cheese. You want to make sure that your enchiladas is covered with cheese. We like cheese in this house. So. We love cheese. And remember that can of what do I do with the black olives? Ah, right in my face. Okay, so you can the black olives. It's gonna go right on top. Just make sure also your can is drained. Make sure, see. I'm glad I did that. So you want to make sure your can is completely drained all the way. Okay, you do not want that juice, you know okay onto your enchilada so this is how my mom did the uh, dozen just like a few spread them out definitely you can use a fork to get them or you know it's it's been a long time since i actually really did um make these enchiladas so um i hope i'm doing it right i think i am <laughs> so yeah but do me your your way your kitchen you know i'm just my fingers because we're about to eat this in an hour so i like i like a lot of hours so and do you want to put hours on like in your salad with the grilled chicken salad i do sometimes too i i, I like black hours because why not you know and then you want to just save the rest for on top if you want extra olives. You can leave this uncovered or covered. But if you do want to leave it covered with a piece of aluminum foil, spray on top of the non part of the aluminum foil and then cover it up. Don't cover it too tight because you don't want that cheese melted onto the aluminum foil. You want to give it some room, some air. So then what I'm going to show you. One second. So 
So just take a piece of aluminum foil. Okay. And then this is the side that you're going to spray. This side here. Cover it up and then also you can put some green onions on here, but I'm gonna put them on top. I don't like my green onions um as a cooking. I don't know why. But you can do it to your way. Okay. And cover it up just like this. And the time now it is 10.01, so this should be done almost eleven o'clock. <laughs> We're eating extremely late. I suppose it has in the oven by 9.30. But okay, it's 10 01, it is in the oven. So while uh, that is in the oven, and you have like let's say, I'm sorry, let's say you have extra tortilla shells. I mean corn tortilla shells, excuse me. Let's say you have extra corn tortilla shells, you can serve just the chicken, you know, and cheese, excuse me to your family for right now until you can get the whole entire meal all done so meanwhile while that's in the oven i'm going to clean up the kitchen the counter and everything so give me one second i'll be right back i'm back with the making already made the actually refried greens i just added some onion powder garden powder powder salt and a little bit of black pepper and has it stirred it up a few times add a little half a cup of chicken broth to it and this is about two tables two teaspoons of butter that i'm putting into the pot here letting that melt down for just a minute or so so that is done now i already cooked my rice i do not know how to make regular rice so i'm going to figure that out very soon trust me but i already um, chopped up my green onions so i'm going to in a minute take out my enchiladas so i'm going to continue to, to cook i mean to finish my rice basically and that's about it um i need scissors i put them back so this is my scissors here and i'm just cutting the top i'm and i already let the i used half half a cup of water and a half a cup of chicken broth so i let that stir it into for just a minute or so then i edit my well i just let that get on to medium high heat so when you do make your rice out the bag you can use half a cup of water and half a cup of chicken broth and just put that in there and let your rice cook for at least 12 about like about 12 minutes but i let it go for an extra few more minutes because i was making the green i mean making the refried beans and also cutting up my green onions and also cleaning up my kitchen as well so so and then that is done all right so now that you got your rice into your pan you want to cook it on low not too high because you know you don't want your rice to burn you have to start all over so then you want to put your colander back into your dish sink your water dish sink and you want to add about another two tables two teaspoons of butter just stir it in i like to add butter first to the rice that's just me but that in first and you want to make sure too that your 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 um, aisle is on low okay you want to make sure it's on low all right so that is on low so you want to put this back into the fridge because you don't need the butter anymore so okay Alright, 
So, you want to add about a teaspoon of paprika. What did I do with the spoon? Oh. So, you know what? I'm going to. Yeah. I'm not going to use that spoon because I stirred that with the rice and butter. So, I don't want to um, mix that all in. So, take one. teaspoon of paprika okay. and then one teaspoon of cumin so you want to, one, so you want to use one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of paprika but if you like your rice a little bit spicy then go ahead and do a little bit more but i made about two bags and then i just wanted to stir it i hope and pray this is not hot then you want to just turn off your burner because you don't like i said you don't want to burn your rice And the rice will be like a like a reddish type of color. I mean, that's just how I make my rice. I stir it all in very, very well. Make sure it's all well incorporated with the seasons. But if you want to add a little bit of more paprika or cumin to your Spanish rice, then go right ahead. You can also add to a small can of regular diced tomatoes, not the potato, uh, petite, I'm sorry, not potato, petite tomatoes you don't want to do that you want to add the regular diced tomatoes and you also want to add this into it as well you want to make sure that that is drained just a little bit just put just a little bit in there of the juice okay put that into your rice throw away the can Okay, and then stir, and then put your heat back on. But get enough bigger spoon. Don't use a small spoon like I do. But use a big enough spoon. But just keep an eyeball on it. Take your time with your food. And then now your enchilada should be done. You can turn off your oven. And then pull that out. And serve your dinner. Don't serve it like late how I am serving it. But we don't have to be worked till late. So you can stay up just a little bit. Okay. So. This is how you make your Spanish rice, and this is it right here. This is your Spanish rice. It looks so good, right? It does look very good. So that's how I make my Spanish rice with one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, and it gives it gives like that red type of color. So and if you yeah, and then you just put in that one can of that tomatoes that uh, rotel tomatoes which is this right here the rotel tomatoes chipotle diced tomatoes with green chilies and chipotle peppers in a 10 ounce can get a 10 ounce can or if you need to get more than one go ahead and get two and if you have a big family but if it's just two people you and your husband then it's all you need is one can but you can also take this too to for leftovers for work that's what we're going to do and I already chopped up my green onions and we're going to put that on top and we're going to see how this looks. All right, so okay, so I'm going to put my right here. 
tell you that this spoon is not going to work. And also, too, you want to top this off, but it has already seasoned and salt already in it. But you want to taste the rice, too. So you want to taste your food, please. Taste your food. And you saw. Just I buy the um I I buy, I ball your salt. Take it. You don't want to put too much you know salt into your food. I don't because I can't have it. So, but if your company or your family, your family or your company wants to add salt, let them add their own preference of salt to it. But before you serve, you want to make sure you have salt in there because you're gonna need salt. So take out your enchiladas and I'm watching Master Chef back to win on the Xfinity cable oh yeah okay then once your enchiladas are done Take the foil off because there's going to be any cheese on it. And it will get that bubbly, gooey, gooey. I let mine go for at least 40, about 45 minutes in the oven. So let your um, enchiladas go for the oven for about 45 minutes. And let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes down. And then you want to add in, then you want to add on top for color your green onions okay so while that is going i'm gonna let this chill down for just a few and i'll be back with the final plating okay be back this is hamilton's plate i mean look at the enchiladas the uh the spanish rice and the refried beans with cheese oh my goodness let me give him his plate and I will, uh, we'll do a eating together with my plate. Okay, but I need to put these green onions in the container real quick. So, I'm just going to put these green onions in a bowl, so that way we can have them for tomorrow. Put the, um, that right in the dish pan. I mean, dish sink, excuse me. Dish sink with other dishes. Not a whole lot, but just got a few in there. Because I already cleaned the counter, as you can see. It's all cleaned in the kitchen, in Donnie's kitchen. So, these are the green, on the green onions that I have right here. And then also, you can serve your enchiladas, too, on top with some sauce. So, I'm going to give Hamilton some sauce to see if we want And I gotta turn down um, the TV. Hold on. Okay, so I already served Hamilton his enchiladas with rice, Spanish rice, and refried beans. I'm going to put mine on the plate. You definitely gotta make this Spanish rice. Oh my goodness, it's so good. You can either. Um, if you have like a rice cooker, do a rice uh, rice cooker with your rice, or like I did 
I just did two bags of white rice, the success rice. I added a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cumin, and what was it? And then I add the Rotel um, Chipotle diced tomatoes with green chilies with with green bell peppers in um, in it. So that just took a few minutes to cook, and my enchiladas were done. And I'm trying to get mine now. Oh, this is. Woo. But this is an ooey gooey dinner. <laughs> but this cheese, oh my goodness, it's so good. So this is my plate so far. Just gotta just do the green onions. I like a little bit of green onions on mine, not too much. And then the refried beans with the cheese on top, melted. And then. I added too a little bit of the salsa, the beans to mine with garlic powder, onion powder, and um, a little bit of salt, and the salsa, the the chi chi salsa, um, salsa. I'm sorry, not salsa, salsa. That's all right. Okay, we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you for this meal. Thank you, God, for who you are and what you are in this household. God, I thank you for my subscribers, new subscribers. People are just stopping by and looking at my channel, Donnie's Kitchen. God bless them and their family. God, let protection be upon them and their families of all this week and weekend. God bless them through the weather where they're at in their city and state. God bless them and protect them. Protect them at all times, oh Father God. We just thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name, we let we let this be a blessed day and a blessed week and a blessed weekend for each and every one of us. And I thank you and amen. Okay, I'm going to take the first bite of my refried beans. Mmm. You can doctor up your refried beans with the salt with the salsa, the chichi salsa. Put about one tablespoon in there. It's good. It's good. It gives it a different flavor, taste. Try it. Don't knock it till you try it. The Spanish rice. That paprika. I can taste the paprika and the cumin. Woo! Let's go for the enchilada. Chicken enchilada. It's so good. You gotta make this recipe. Make it. It will be in the description box below. So make sure you turn on your notification bell. Make sure you are subscribed to Donnie's Kitchen. And thank you all for tuning in tonight's late video. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Please stay safe. Stay encouraged. Dream big. Have continue to have a great night and a blessed week. Enjoy your weekend when it comes. God bless. See y'all next time. Bye.